What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we were multi-apping because I, that's just the fun way to do it. I'm going to be doing Uber for about 30 minutes. I know it's not much, but I have a DoorDash scheduled at 4.30 till about 7. Don't know if I'm going to do the whole time. It depends how much it's popping it is a sunny day here in brandon florida it says it's 95 degrees and i believe it man it is hot i hate how it's like i'm driving and it gives me 30 seconds to push the button but i accepted it it was for 977 and it was going six point something miles so sounds good I'm gonna go pick it up right now and that's gonna be our first order of the day. Popeyes going into blue. Alright, fine. Okay, I got another order. Dang, I just picked up this order. It was from Jersey Mike's right behind me. And I went to go navigate and another order popped up. I got this. I'm gonna drop it off five minutes away and then go pick up this next order from Popeyes. All right, so as you've seen, I just dropped off my first order, heading to my second order, and then a third order came through. So this order is now a double order, and it said it's going like a mile farther for $3 more. So I won't expect a tip, but I figured I'm already going in for the one order. Why not make it two orders and an extra mile for the $3? So at this rate, I'm going to be making like $20 in 30 minutes. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> so those two orders are dropped off. They were pretty easy to find. They were at, well one was at a pool supply place, which I didn't even know was there. And um, I just followed the numbers. But the other one was at a house, very easy to find. And now I'm going to sign into DoorDash. So I'll put up on the screen, I guess, um, what I made with Uber. And I'm a little bit, I'm like, six minutes late to my dash all right so while i wait for this first order with doordash the lighting looks so good but dang i'm blinded <laughs> make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it all right that lighting is a little bit better while we're waiting for my first doordash order i want to remind you guys of a company i talked about in my last video they are Cover, and they are like a safety net for us gig workers. They offer big company benefits for us self-employed people. They will cover you for sick days and vehicle repairs. They have the best customer service. If you read any of their reviews, they are mainly talking about how great their customer service is and how quickly their payouts are. And you could easily make a claim on their website and their payouts are between one to three days and you could get all these benefits for only seven dollars a month but with my code down below in the description box it will give you a whole entire month of cover for absolutely free all right finally we got some action here it's not too far and it's for nine dollars i didn't get an order for a whole 10 12 minutes and then once i started driving this order came through, so. Like you did on me. So I dropped that order off and I'm at a hot spot, I guess. It was the closest restaurant that I think delivers with DoorDash and it like drives you to the hot spots, which is kind of nice. But y'all told me in previous DoorDash videos not to chase these hot spots. So just like pull over where you think is a good spot, but this is like the closest spot. There's a Chick-fil-A behind me, which makes it so hot. Oh, I hope he doesn't come over here. I am parked on the curbside, and I hope this dude doesn't come over here thinking I have an order because I don't yet. 
All right, he left. I just didn't want him to think like I'm waiting on an order, so he got to come say something. So the best thing about DoorDash compared to Uber Eats is Uber Eats tells you now your estimated tip and like the total you'll make, but the customer has an hour to change the tip, whether they want to increase it or decrease it or leave it alone. DoorDash, you get what you get. Like what you see, what you accept, that is the dollar amount going into your pocket so that's kind of nice knowing that like it's not gonna change but on the other hand DoorDash uses maps which one of y'all told me to use Waze and I meant to download Waze yesterday I kept putting it off and now I, I, I forgot it's too late to do it right now so so Sarah as you're editing this video download Waze on your phone right now or else you're gonna forget um, I got an order for six dollars it was like three miles because I always um, I always go off of the miles versus the dollars but I had to walk up there and even though I was in the parking spot I don't know there was absolutely nobody in the drive-thru which I've never seen that like what's going on so I'm gonna go deliver this order and move on to the next one hopefully I'm not waiting in between for so long because I have waited another 10 minutes for this one I might just have to go back to uber I don't know yet alright so that order is dropped off as soon as I put it as delivered I got another order for it was like eight dollars and fifty cents it wasn't going too far I think it was like three miles so now I'm heading to Bob Evans have y'all noticed those of y'all who deliver with DoorDash what is the lowest um, amount you were ever offered because I know uber um, their low base pay is three dollars wow that lighting their um their base pay on like the smallest order is three dollars i've actually seen it a 250 order before tip and i don't know if they're like lowering it or what is up with that but what's the lowest you've seen on doordash because i mean i haven't been driving with doordash too long so i think i the lowest i've seen was like five dollars but that's with a tip so I don't know that order was at a apartment complex and tell me why the one building I needed did not have a building number on it I've looked all around there was no building number but it was telling me it, it was pointing between that one and another one so I wait and I looked at the other one so I knew which one was right. I figured it out, but apartment buildings, like why are they just so hard? I don't know if I need to switch back to Uber or what, but I've been waiting here at Applebee's. Y'all seen me drive behind it. Cause I was like, maybe if I drive, I was gonna park back there, but there's like a group of people and there's a guy laying on the ground next to his vehicle and they're like trying to wake him up and there's like a 10 people now surrounding him and i don't know if i want to wait over here because i'm sure like ambulances are about to show up so i've been waiting for a while i don't know if, like what is up with my app there's an ihop across the street there's a chick-fil-a down the street like i don't know why i'm not getting any orders but Maybe I should switch back over. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could hear y'all through the screen telling me to just switch back over to Uber Eats. They were popping. I'm going to stay online on both of them and see who I get an order with first. Can I do that? I see a gig life doing that. So, But I need to remember once I get an order with one, I need to log off of the other one yeah there's cops showing up so it's gonna be ambulances here soon i'm gonna like move all right we got some action thank goodness oh oh it's with the card 
that's why it was so high. It's okay. I have the card. It's okay. It's like eight minutes away and it's not too bad. So I got, yeah, I buckled the food in because he said not to let these tilt over because they're full of cheese and it'll be messy if it tilts over. So buckled it in. I got my air on low too because I don't want this food getting uh, cold. It is just a box. Oh my God, it smells so good though. I haven't eaten there yet. So after further investigation, it's at a hotel and they want me to bring it to their room. Um, it sounds like it's on the first floor, but it's also three things. I don't know if I showed y'all the big two liter of soda. So I'm gonna be juggling that. I was hoping it was a house where I could make two trips if I needed to because I think I need to but now I can't so I'm gonna be like juggling struggling <laughs> all right I made it safely thankfully it was right by the lobby eh, but uh, the picture is still trying to go through as I was like halfway down the hall I seen them reach out and grab the food but you guys like it is loading and loading so yeah there's not many restaurants that let you go inside and use the bathroom while you're picking up the food it's a new covid thing but uh i've been holding it and needed to go for like the past two hours <laughs> it, it it comes with the job so therefore it's relevant to talk about um, but that's my last order anyways, and I'm gonna head home, eat dinner, watch Big Brother, because I need to catch up on yesterday before somebody spoils it for me. Like, I don't like to talk about the shows I watch because I'm so terrified it's gonna get spoiled. But before I forget, let me put the totals up on the screen of what I've made today. I'm not sure the hours, I have to put that on the screen too, but uh uber eats and doordash which one do you like better and why let me know below let me know if you have any questions and i will see you guys in my next video bye